children today we'll be doing chapter number 2.3 connecting the dots and this is a very very important chapter from your textbook so children it's my request that please sit down with your textbook of course it will be explained by me mrs rachna chakravarti and we are going to read about a famous personality his biography which he tells his own stories steve jobs as you all know children was an american inventor business magnate entrepreneur industrial designer he co-founded the apple and was the chairman and chief executive officer of the company he is recognized as one of the pioneers of the company of micro computer revolution of 1970s and 1980s jobs worked towards creating products like ipod iPhone and iPad which revolutionized the technology world so here the chapter which is taken in your textbook it is from one of his speech which he is giving to the freshly graduated college students that he shares his own three stories of his life and this i have tried to gather children for all of you from one of his motivational speeches it's his own voice i just hope you all listen to it properly and get some lessons from him what had inspired him in his life so do listen to his speech it is steve jobs own voice the first story is about connecting the dots i dropped out of reed college after the first 6 months but then stayed around as a drop in for another 18 months or so before i really quit so why did i drop out it started before i was born my biological mother was a young unwed graduate student and she decided to put me up for adoption she felt very strongly that i should be adopted by college graduates so everything was all set for me to be adopted at birth by a lawyer and his wife My biological mother found out later that my mother had never graduated from college and that my father had never graduated from high school. She refused to sign the final adoption papers. She only relented a few months later when my parents promised that I would go to college. This was the start in my life. And 17 years later, I did go to college, and all of my working class parents' savings were being spent on my college tuition. After 6 months, I couldn't see the value in it. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and no idea how college was going to help me figure it out. So I decided to drop out and trust that it would all work out okay. It was pretty scary at the time, but looking back, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. The minute I dropped out, I could stop taking the required classes that didn't interest me and begin dropping in on the ones that looked far more interesting. It wasn't all romantic. I didn't have a dorm room, so I slept on the floor in friends' rooms. I returned Coke bottles for the 5 cent deposits to buy food with. And I would walk the 7 miles across town every Sunday night to get one good meal a week at the Hari Krishna temple. And much of what I stumbled into by following my curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless later on. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. My second story is about love and loss. I was lucky. I found what I loved to do early in life. Was and I started Apple in my parents' garage when I was 20. We worked hard, and in 10 years Apple had grown from just the two of us in a garage into a 2 billion dollar company with over 4,000 employees. We just released our finest creation, the Macintosh, a year earlier, and I just turned 30. And then I got fired. So did you understand this was taken from his own speech 
Uh, those who want to listen, uh, listen to the complete speech, you can just uh, type on motivational speeches and you can get the speech of Steve Jobs too. So let us continue with the story. You know that Steve Jobs' three stories which he was telling to the graduated students. Now we will be doing the first story. Story number one. The first story is about connecting the dots. He tells them that he had dropped out from Reed College just after six months of joining it, but attended the classes which he found interesting. For another 18 months, he managed by sleeping in his friend's room, selling used Coke bottles and walking seven miles to get just one decent meal in a week. He says that the things he discovered by attending Different classes out of curiosity helped him in some way or the other in his life. For instance, his calligraphy classes, which at a later stage helped him design the Macintosh computer. He tells students that while looking ahead in life, we are often unable to understand the importance of things that we learn. So we can see that the first story already we heard from him what he had to say. Now I'll show you in points what he advises to the students. So the important details here in the first story is he dropped out of Reed College. This was his college and he was a dropout there. Then what did he do? He joined calligraphy classes. And then he designed the first Macintosh computer. started learning the serif and the sans serif. These are all the styles which now computer uses it when we are using a word format. These are the different, some of the styles which the computer uses and this Steve Jobs had started learning when he was a dropout. This is the first Apple Mac computer which Steve Jobs had designed. And the lessons learned from this first story, which he tells in a speech to the students, is that connect the dots looking backwards. Following curiosity and intuition turned out to be priceless. His advice to the students, have faith in your decision. Trust your gut, destiny, life, karma. So you need to trust all this. Then only you can reach your distant goal. The main punchline of the story is your approach makes all the difference in life. Remember children, this is the first story and these were the main important lines. I need you to look into your textbook and read the main important points from the first story connecting the dots. Now, story number two, second story is about love and loss. Job says that when he was 20, he and Steve Wozniak started Apple in his garage. And in a decade, their company became a $2 billion organization. So in a decade, means a period of 10 years, that means he was 30 now. And his company was a $2 billion organization. Then unexpectedly, Job Bob was fired from his job and he felt very dejected. However, he realized that he had to start again and hence he had the liberty to do his imagination and innovation takeover. In the next five years, he went on to start two companies, the Next and the Pixar. And he also met his love of his life. Lauren. So the second story was very, very interesting. The main important details here. Started Apple when he was just 20. In 10 years, in a decade, Apple grew into a $2 billion company. He got fired from Apple. 
And then he did not give up. He started next picture. He got married to Lauren. That was very, very important thing. In his so this is his love of his life, Lauren. The main lessons learned from the second story is still loved what he did. Started again the most creative period. His main advice to the students, don't lose faith when life hits you hard. Love what you do. So you need to love what you are doing. These are the two main advices which he gives to the students from the second story. The main punchline in the second story is don't settle in life till you find what you love to do. Coming to the third story, or the last story, is about death. Steve Jobs was diagnosed with cancer a year before he delivered this address, before the speech was given, just a year before he was diagnosed. The doctor had advised him to take care of all his legal and financial transactions, but with biopsy it was found that he had a rare pancreatic cancer that could be cured with surgery. He had gone for the surgery and was fine when he delivered his address. He says that the experience was closest to death and he had come pacing to death and it taught him that spending one's life doing something that he does, doesn't like didn't make any sense. It would be just like a complete waste. So that is what he wants to tell from his third story. The important details here, he was diagnosed with a rare pancreatic cancer, undergone the surgery and was completely cured. The lessons learned here, time is limited. Do not waste it living someone else's life. Very, very important. Live the life you want to live. Advice to the students, don't be trapped by dogmas. Do not live with the result of other people's thinking. Children, what do you mean by dogma? Dogma means rules, traditions, beliefs. So don't be trapped by all those things. What will people think? What will be the result? If I do this and, and in the long run, you don't land up doing anything. So he said, don't be trapped by dogmas. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition as they are the real you. You know that you are not going to do anything bad for yourself because in the long run it will harm you, not your neighbors or your family or your friends. It will hurt your own being. The real final punchline which he wants to tell everyone, he says that stay hungry, stay foolish. He always wanted to have hunger in him to achieve greater heights and the foolishness to follow his heart. And since the students were going to start their lives afresh, he wished them the same for their lives. So he always says, to the younger generation that we should always stay hungry and stay foolish. If we can follow this principle, we will always be embracing the new ideas and get the knowledge which we require. We have to always stay hungry, then only we can collect knowledge from every angles of life. So children, I hope you have understood. I've tried to take out the punchline. The advice to the student from the three stories separately. Please see the video once again and this will help you to remember the story in short and even the main punchlines and the points which I've targeted here. Uh, this will make the story more easier. Um, I hope you don't have any doubts with it. Please do sit down and read the textbook too. Give a thorough reading for it.